Hi guys and welcome to our latest project here in Brickett Wood. It looks like I'm standing in the front cover of a magazine, but I'm not. It's one of our latest kitchens and it's a real, real showstopper and I can't wait to get into it. Before we start, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and let us know what you wanna see, questions, whatever you want. So behind me, the first thing you're gonna see is the island as is often the case. And in this case, we've got this beautiful L-shaped island. And it's a bit different to what we usually do because we've got the front frame legs coming all the way down to the floor. We've got shaker cabinetry here in a front frame. Uh, we've got this lovely open book casing shelf on the back of the island for hundreds of cookbooks so you're never going to get lost for a recipe in this kitchen uh, and then we've got this lovely fluted glass within a shaker panel um, that pulls out it's actually a drawer which is for uh, big china stone on the island is a beautiful porcelain worktop with this amazing coppery veining running throughout it's a really really stunning piece of stone and then coming round to sort of the main area in the kitchen, uh, first thing we're gonna see is this Fisher & Paykel 900 wide fridge freezer. It's an American style. So we've got a double door fridge at top level and then a pull out freezer drawer at low level. It's got an internal drawer there as well. Really, really handy, loads of food storage. It works really nicely. And then the main cooking part of the kitchen. So you'll see we've got stone either side of this beautiful Bertazzoni range cooker. It's six gas rings. We've even got sort of a, a grill here ovens below and this is actually a bespoke extractor that we had made it's uh, powder coated stainless steel all the way with the extraction to the ceiling and it's got a, a western block extractor recessed in it's a really really lovely bit of kit you'll see and you notice uh, floating stone shelves throughout as well so we've got the stone that comes up and then returns on a shelf so you can display all their lovely china and teapots and stuff like that and then on this side of the kitchen the island we've got uh, a Miele of a Miele microwave with a 29 centimeter warming drawer below. Uh, we've got a pull out sorter bin. Uh, we've got the sinks, which is one 700 wide 1810 company sink. And to the left of that, we've got this small uh, 180 sink. Uh, these are all in gunmetal and that is to match the gunmetal taps. Zip tap, so we've got the normal hot and cold mixer tap. And then off to one side, we've got the boiling, chilled and sparkling tap. So everything just at the touch of a button, this is boiling ready to go and you'll hear the pop of the uh, the sink as it as it gets used to the heat uh, storage underneath the sink with the boiling water tank and then something we don't do too often but it's really cool are the fisher and pike dishwasher drawers so they're two separate drawers and you can put them on individually if you don't have a full load it's more energy efficient uh, works really really nice it's practical either side of the cooker also i want to point out we've got these pull out racks so for all your spices mustards ketchups whatever all nice and easily accessible when you're cooking. And then coming round, we've got more drawer storage here. So it's quite a nice configuration in a front frame kitchen. We've got a slab top drawer and then shaker drawers below. Internal utensil dividers here, knife block in there, uh, more internally divided drawers. This is a dovetail, dovetail oak drawer box. And then we've got this lovely little coffee nook that's been set up. We've got a Le Mans corner. It's quite, uh, quite full of, uh, of Tupperware in there at the moment, but maximizing the storage into the corner and then just some normal plain storage here. Nice wide cupboard, oak internals throughout, really picking up on this industrial theme uh, and as well the lights, I've got to point out that absolutely gorgeous. Then coming around, <coughs> this is what dreams are made of and usually we have a, a pocket door larder to show you but in, in this case, something a bit more special and this is lovely crittle doors here into the walk-in pantry. So when you've got space, walk-in pantry is the way to go. So we've got an extra fridge, so overflow fridge there's uh, cupboards for, for, for storage and then more worktop space in here with these beautiful painted shelves and brass brackets underneath supporting them with this amazing metro tile splashback behind it coming all the way to the ceiling. It looks really, really nice. You can see here everything in jars labelled. I mean, this is literally what dreams are made of. Uh, we've got these drawers that have a mesh front so you can see into them uh, and also it lets the air get to whatever is in there. Open, open shelving as well below uh, and the dog bowls there because the client's got two lovely little dogs. And then there's a little wet area here as well. So we've got another sink with a pull out tap, uh, a second dishwasher and some wall storage above. Then finally coming round, we've got the last bit of drawer storage here. So again, painted in this lovely Hague blue and Farrow and Ball, internal cutlery dividers, more drawer storage below and the client's got this amazing freestanding piece as well. It really is a dream, this kitchen. It's one of my favorites we've ever photographed. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Let us know what you wanna see next. 